Hello coffee lovers, Damien here at Depache Head Office. I'm just gonna show you guys on how you would choose a grinder for home and simplify it as much as I can. But once you've decided you need a grinder for home, ground coffee fresh from a grinder at home is way better than buying pre-ground coffee. So once we decide we need a grinder and we wanna take our coffee to the next level, you can get overwhelmed with the information and go down a bit of a rabbit hole. So what I've done is I've simplified the grinder selection for home into four easy categories. And I'm gonna explain why you would get this grinder over that grinder and the benefits and features of each one. And I'm gonna make it as simple as possible to choose a grinder for home. So come in and we'll make it easy. What I have first is the Precision GSP. So this is a manual grinder. So what that means is you are fundamentally guessing how much dose you're putting in your portafilter or dosing cup. The benefit of this unit is it's quite affordable. But the con is, you're guessing how much coffee. So coffee is all about the dose. You and your partner are making coffee, you're grinding, yeah, and you're stopping when you think, by eye, that's enough coffee. This grinder is good if it's you on your own and you visually know by eye when you have enough grounds in the portafilter. So what you can do to make this affordable grinder a premium grinder is, Get yourself a set of scales and a dosing cup and you can weigh out the grinds and make it a premium grinder with a couple of simple tools. The next level we have is a very similar grinder with burr size, very similar, motor size the same. Very popular grinder from Eureka, it's called a Specialita. This has a time-based program, so this will stop on a program of time. So this is gonna give you a lot more consistency. We select the time, it's gonna be about 90%, 95% accurate the beans will find a way down, they'll push. It won't be perfectly consistent, but it will be thereabouts. So it's always good to wiggle or collapse as I'm grinding, just so you don't lose any of that program, which is really important because if you lose coffee on the side, obviously you're not getting that program dose inside the portafilter. The downside of a time-based program is you will fill up this coffee hopper with too many beans, beans will lose their freshness. The step up from that is a single dose grinder. So single dose grinders are very popular now. They do, it's a couple of brands. Niche is probably, I think, the best. Then there's, you know, the Varia VS3. There's the Gen 2 Varia. There's the DF series. So we have the DF64 Generation 2 with this one here now, the next one. So what is, or why would I buy this grinder? Well, this grinder now, I'm going to, instead of guessing how much coffee I'm getting out, I'm going to weigh how much coffee is going in. I need a set of scales comes with a dosing cup and I would weigh my beans. So now I would put those beans in and get 20 grams out. Little single dose, so that will go in. Here we go. Little bellow will push any grounds out, make it zero retention. All right. So 21 grams I put in, 21 grams out. Typically that would go like that. This is a good way of doing it. I would dose like that. I can distribute, you know, and you'll get a super accurate dose and really save on wastage in the long run. And the benefit of this grinder also is you can do different applications. So typically with these grinders, espresso only, the DF64, you can do filter and other applications and mocha pots and things like that. The Libra from Eureka, this is a grind by weight. So it's not grind by time, grind by weight. We set the grammage for a double. I've got 19 grams here. Again, I'll fill the hopper with beans. And we will go. So that will give us 19 grams worth of coffee based on the scales. Yeah, so easy to use, very accurate, very fast. The downside is you're getting stuck with these beans again. So if you're not using them, you're getting quite a few beans in the collar all the way down to the clump crusher, out to the spout. So you're getting that buildup of older coffee beans. So the benefit of this single dose is freshness and perfect dose, but time consuming. So it just depends what kind of lifestyle you live, how much you're into your coffee. If you want something easy, one coffee a week, I'd recommend this one. If you're a partner, a couple, and got kids, a time-based grinder. 
If you want to get into your coffee and experiment with different roasts and different applications, I'd go single dose. If you're the upmarket sort of person that can afford the grind by weight, that would be you. So something that's better than that, a little bit more accurate, that's my choice. Hopefully guys, you enjoyed this video. It is a little bit confusing when you think about grinders for home. I, I am surrounded by them every day and I get emails and notifications about questions and this seems to be a popular one. So if I've answered your question and you understand a little bit better, I'm happy. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you get notified when new videos are released and have a great new year guys. Thank you.